Hey guys, so today is day two here in Disney and we are finally kicking it off with the parks and we are starting with Magic Kingdom today and so I am so excited. I have my little 50th anniversary look going on. We do plan on taking some photos today. So today is gonna be, I guess, mostly like a photo day in the morning and then the rest of the afternoon is gonna be rides. So I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be so much fun and I can't wait to take y'all along. So real quick, here is my outfit of the day. I got these ears off of Etsy and I will have them linked down below for you guys. This top I actually found at Ross the other day, so I really like it. It's just a nice little blue top that I thought would be nice for the 50th. These shorts are from American Eagle, and so is the belt, and then of course I just got my kicks on from Adidas, which I also got from like TJ Maxx, so it's a good day. So we are currently headed over to Magic Kingdom. We don't have any reservations for the day, which is really nice, so we're honestly just gonna kind of take the day as it comes, and we're gonna try and do some of the lightning lanes and figure that out. I was up this morning trying to figure that out, and I still don't understand it, so we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> It looks so beautiful with the 50th decorations, but then also with the Christmas decorations as well. I've never been to Disney during Christmas time, so that is definitely really, really exciting to see. And so we're just going to kind of make our way around the park. I feel like I'm going to just get some cool shots here and there, but I'm also going to kind of be focusing on getting a lot of footage from rides and stuff throughout the day. So I will be checking back in with you guys whenever we start riding some rides. and you know I absolutely fell in love with this place last time I came here and so I'm going to show you what we got to eat I got the mini corn dog nuggets because they're absolutely amazing and it comes with fries and then of course the frozen mint julep drink 
which is super yummy. So if you haven't, definitely check out Casey's Corner. And it's relatively affordable too for Disney. And it's like good American cuisine, if that makes sense. So we just finished our lunch at Casey's Corner, which was super, super yummy. We were definitely getting pretty hungry, and it just kind of helps to help replenish the energy a little bit. But right now we are just sitting and enjoying the hub grass because it is such a beautiful day. So we just thought that we would sit and take it all in for a minute. I know we are going to go shop around the gift shops a little bit, which will be fun. And then we're actually, I brought a big backpack just while we were taking photos and stuff. And I have a smaller backpack in here. So we're gonna drop the big backpack off over at a locker. And then we're gonna get started on some, some rides. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> with the Haunted Mansion. We're going to head over to Tomorrowland and do the standby line for Space Mountain, so that will be a lot of fun. And our next lightning pass is scheduled for like 4.35, and that's going to be Splash Mountain, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super stoked about that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling kinda tired. We've kinda gotten a lot done so far today, and I, I definitely feel like I could take a nap, but we're not gonna do that. <laughs> getting through the inner part and we were probably like about five minutes away from riding it shut down so everyone had to leave the building but it's okay because we can do it again either later today or another day I'm not too worried but with that being said we are really looking forward to doing the people mover because that just sounds really relaxing and then honestly I might get a drink or something afterwards like a little snack just to help refresh the day a little bit. It's currently 3.15, so a little snack might be in order, but that would be a lot of fun and pretty refreshing. But until then, let's go on the people mover.
just got done with Splash Mountain, which was a lot of fun, and Pirates of the Caribbean, so we've definitely been making the most of getting some rides in. And now we're going to be heading back over to Space Mountain because it does look like it is open again. So we wanna try and get a ride there before we start to set up for fireworks. We were kind of thinking since fireworks are at eight, we might try and set up around six, 6.30 to try and get a decent spot and then grab a snack while we're doing that as well. So we're gonna try and do that. So we're gonna run over Space Mountain and hopefully we're able to get on and it doesn't break down again. So wish us luck. built and honestly that was so good I don't know maybe if I'm just hungry and have low expectations but I really liked it and I would get it again we got the three ground beef tacos along with some chips queso and guacamole and like it just hit the spot I would definitely prefer getting something like that over getting like a pretzel or popcorn personally it just felt a little bit more satisfying um, and it's about the same price so I definitely definitely recommend it right now I'm going to grab my backpack from the locker and come back so we can watch the fireworks so I'm so excited about that The bag is acquired. <laughs> There was just a proposal. I repeat, there's just a proposal. Chester Castle, our dreams ignite the magic to create a beacon shining out and celebrating 50 years of the most magical place on Earth.
Disney's Enchantment and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really impressive. Um, it's hard to compete with Happily Ever After, but I think that they did a really great job and that was really beautiful. We were actually able to snag some lightning passes for a Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin at 840, which is really great because a lot of the other fast passes were taken and this was one that we wanted to do and haven't been able to do yet. So we're able to go do this before the park closes and then we're gonna be heading back home to hopefully grab a little bit of food. And I really wanna show my mom the video of Happily Ever After. However, I only have my laptop, so I might wait till we get home so I can show her on the big screen and try to make it as immersive as possible on a television instead of a laptop. But we'll see, but for now, Buzz Lightyear. For about an hour we've just been getting settled in i got to grab a shower which felt so good i cannot even begin to express it <laughs> we were able to grab dinner at el mercado which is here at coronado springs which that was really really good the way i would compare it is the last time i was here and we did room service it is very similar to that i ended up getting the jumbo meatballs and penne which was super delicious i really liked it and we even got some of their hummus as well and so that was just really good it was really tasty and really simple and you get a lot of food for your money like i mean it was really filled up it was probably three quarters of a pound of pasta at least it was very full but i would definitely recommend it because it is nice that it does stay open later so that way if you're coming back from the parks you can grab a quick bite to eat because it is already prepared for you you literally just pick it up so i would thought it'd be a little bit of fun to show you guys what i got at the parks today to kind of wrap up the evening so the first item i got from the parks is a pair of ears these are the gold and black polka dot ears so i saw these and i thought that these would be great because they will literally go with anything i really like them i feel like depending on which pair of ears you get from disney some of them are really high quality and then others are a little cheaper this is one that definitely feels a little bit higher quality next up is quite a variety of pins i've been really excited to start to build my pin collection a little bit more on my lanyard and also maybe do a little bit of pin trading as well and so what i'm thinking of doing is right after i show you guys the pins that i got i think i'm going to put the new pins on my lanyard and show you guys what that looks like so far so i'm really excited about that but to start off i got the kingdom hearts pin this one holds a special place in my heart because my older brother and i literally bonded as children because we played kingdom hearts together and so definitely this is something that holds a special place in my heart and so the fact that they have a pin for it was just amazing next up is the stitch space mountain pin this one is super cute it is literally just stitch on a rocket for space mountain and it's actually really cute because stitch can move on the pin as well which is really precious and so i had wanted this the last time i was here at the parks in 2019 and i didn't get it because i had already bought quite a few pins that time around and i saw it this time and i was like well they still have it so i'm gonna get it the next one is a pin that i had wanted the last time i was here however it was actually sold out and that is the happily ever after fireworks show pin and so i love 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 loved happily ever after it definitely my favorite fireworks show to date it was just absolutely amazing if you haven't watched it it's about 13 15 minutes long you can find it on youtube it's not the same as watching it in person but the animation and theatrics of it is so impressive and i just absolutely am in love with the imagineering that took place with creating that so 
I just geek out. I love theater, I love lighting, and so for me, that was just like absolutely amazing. So I wanted to get a pin to commemorate it, plus I don't think that they're gonna have these for much longer, so I figured I should get it. My next two pins are pins that, because I'm here with my mom this trip, I kind of wanted something to help remember and commemorate this moment with her. And so the first one is this Italian Mickey and Minnie pin, and I got this and immediately I just thought of us. One, because we got to eat at Enzo's Hideaway last night and that was absolutely delicious and that was just so much fun, like the best way to start off a trip for the two of us. And also we are like, I think like 13% Italian, so you know, it just made sense. And the next one, this one, is just so sweet because I think it encompasses everything. So this is a Donald and Goofy pin in front of Walt Disney and the castle. And I love this pin because not only does it show the castle, Walt Disney, but it also shows Donald and Goofy, and Goofy is taking pictures of Donald, and that honestly has been something that my mom has been helping me with, and she's been helping me vlog, she's been helping me take photos, and literally it has just been so much fun, and so in a way this one actually, I feel like, represents what we were doing on this trip. And last but not least for this haul, I saw this whenever I was coming back in for the evening. Every resort, to my knowledge, has a gift shop. And so when I was looking around, I found some pins for Coronado Springs. Now something I have been looking for with the pins in particular is a 2021 specific pin. Now the only one that I've seen had Kermit the Frog on it and I have a 50th anniversary pin but I wanted one that just said 2021 and I haven't fully come across one that I liked yet being that the options for that are very limited since they're just doing 50th. But I did come across this and it is perfect. It incorporates three things at one time that commemorate this stay. And so first off, it is this Cusco Emperor's New Groove Christmas pin. Now what I love about it is it has 2021 up here at the star. It says Coronado Springs Resort, which is where I'm staying here at the bottom. And it is a Christmas tree. And this is the first time I'm being able to experience the Christmas season here at Disney. And so it was absolutely perfect. And what's cute about this is it actually opens up. So it can also look like this as well, which is really neat. And so I saw this and I knew I wanted some kind of Christmas pin for this day. And I was just so happy that this worked out. And plus you don't see many Emperor's New Groove pins all the time. I've seen some funny ones about Kronk and Yzma, but I really, really love this because it literally commemorated three things that are important to me for this day, so I just, I loved it. So now we're going to be moving on to updating my lanyard. It is pretty simple. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos, these are the pins that I currently have on my lanyard that I'm going to go ahead and update. So I will show you guys the finished product once I have it done. So I finished decorating my lanyard and so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a close up of how the pins turned out. And I'm so excited, I still feel like there's a little bit of room for some trading or even adding a few new pins. So I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But that is the end of today's vlog. Make sure you stick around for the next video because we are going to be vlogging Hollywood Studios. So with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.